my channel i'm classy kia and yes as you saw back again part two revisiting the niches so i did a part one about a week ago and i showcased two additional colors that i purchased out of this original nisha style from outre um this is part two and um yeah i'm really excited that i have multiple colors now um i've only really worn my uh 1b30 uh, or it might be the 1b uh yeah it, it's 1b30 it's one of them out of all the original niches that i have purchased so it's really exciting to have multiple colors i love this style so I'm really excited, um, like I said, to just have multiple colors and options as far as what to wear, especially now as the fall is creeping up. I love browns. I've loved the color 27 and 30 and highlights. So I'm really excited. So the color that I have on right now is S430, more of a chocolate color, as you can see. Um, the 30 is hard to see. In my opinion, it's definitely there, though, as you can see, though. It's there, but it's, I think because the 30 is such a already kind of, you know, brown in the brown, it's in the brown category basically. So when you take a four, which is really like brown, right? And you have the 30, it's, it's not really going to pop out as if it, they did like this four color with like their blonde or something, you know, crazy or red or whatever like that. So that's the difference. Um, I still love this color because it is a brown. It is a nice color to definitely rock. Um, as like I said, we get into the fall and winter months. I did not uh, glue or freeze this wig down because I have another color to show one. And I'm not wearing these colors too. But also, um, I wanted y'all to just see that even wearing her glueless, like I, near deer can get away with it if you really have a really good headband and you really secure her as far as your, you know, uh, foundation of your hair and whatnot. This is for me, um, these niches, they're big head friendly, okay? So like I have a lot of room, okay? <laughs> and mine is the fact that she big anyway style wise right so um definitely um was really excited to kind of just add more colors like i said review these colors for y'all let y'all know that the original nisha she out here she's still available to be purchased um i hope that they continue to actually make this particular style of the l party space uh, i think they should revise some things but still have that original feel near dear because she is different from the other niches that are now out and popular and they just came out with an, um, a half wig or they're going to be releasing another um, niche half wig um, in that series and I'm excited to see that because it's actually a short um, style and I remember when they started making the Nisha half wigs that I emphasize. I don't know if my review did some uh, nudging, but I said, you know, go have different varieties of style, go short, go long, go straight, go curly, you know, et cetera, because people still, at the end of the day, I feel like Nisha represents the texture. Like the texture is what brings people in. The style, a lot of this style now, you can pretty much see and almost near dear see in so many different varieties but when you put on this unit like she she near dear has her own presence as like i'm nisha okay don't be comparing me to no dang on you know uh leticia <laughs> or you know dang on something else you know all these dang on names they got for these wigs now but i feel like if they keep this particular Nisha style around like I said in my part one but revise the parting space still give us this L parting space but widening it um, making it look a more natural looking um, I'm thinking also to like I said expanding the color chart updating this color chart to 
you know, this vanilla mocha like they got coming out. Oh my God, this color, this style in this vanilla mocha that I've seen that they gonna have on a wig pop. And I wonder if that color is gonna even be on this new half wig Nisha that they're coming out with. So we gonna see, but nothing's changed. Same construct, HD transparent lace. Uh, safe to up to 400 degrees. I did put a small amount of heat right here just to have it flat just so you know It's kind of like, you know, a little bit more transparent because I'm not freezing it down I'm not gluing it down. I'm not doing anything to you know, have it be worn or you know secure it or whatever like that. So You will need that and but the good thing like I said, this is Udre saved up 400 degrees so you can put heat to her you can make this get out of your face you can give her a little bit more bump you know you could you know cut this make this be a little bit more swingy you know etc there's so much stuff to do and and you have plenty um to do with it am i getting any shedding i'm getting a little bit of shedding not too much um but it might be because of um how i cut the lace a little bit i don't know it may be also too i had those little attachments to kind of keep the hairline uh out of the way so when i was cutting the lace and it might have uh you know pulled some hairs here and there but in that i'm not getting any kind of oh this don't feel the same um i got that soft swiss lace um nothing you know plasticky and hard or anything like that and that's why i said i feel like they kind of did upgrade the lace on the nisha you know still manufacturing her because i'm like i know this lace wasn't you know wasn't present out back in the day it really wasn't but you know those of y'all that had bought the nisha back in the day y'all let me know if that lace was like that but i remember the wig out back then they won swiss <laughs> and if they were swiss now i'm talking about synthetic I don't be doing the expensive wigs. Every now and then, every now and then, I might go and get an actual expensive pricey wig. But I've been on the synthetic tip. And I'm telling you, like, that lace was not Swiss. And when you had something Swiss, you paid, you paid some money for it back in the day. So that's why I was like, I don't think this was the case. And I don't, and this was affordable. You know what I'm saying? Like, she wasn't, like, expensive, expensive. You know, if this would have came out, probably now and having all the decked out stuff that we have on lace she would definitely start out in the 40s if not near dear to 50s because of you know all this texture and everything like that so y'all let me know those of y'all that purchased the old niche back in the day but other than that that is it like i wanted y'all to see the construct that is the same, that you're gonna, you know, do, you know, you're not getting nothing um, different. Two combs in the front, one comb in the back, adjustable straps. Unfortunately, I had to tuck some of that hair back out because it was coming inside the cap. And that's why I said I can't stand when you can see the tracks inside because when you have that mesh cap, it just eliminates all of that headache. So that's why I was like, uh, but I got her tucked back out and I fixed that. But other than that, y'all, this is the Nisha from the side. Okay, running my fingers. She's coming about right here. Okay. Still getting that nice layering. Okay. And yeah, all right, so now I am going to take the S430 off and I'm gonna put the last color that I got out of the OG Nisha, which is the color I have been loving to rock right now. And I hope when I put her on, she don't make me wanna seal her down because it's a number two. And like I said, y'all, I've always, been a 1b girl but this year 35 age 35 she like look you know look the 1b it has done us well but we try this too try this number two though and the number two has just been a very much like go-to so i'm i 
coat when I put it on, I'm gonna be getting caught up, all right? Cause I'm planning on putting her back in here. But I'm going to showcase um, and put the number two on, and then I'm going to end with my final thoughts. Keep watching. Like I said, um, 
I wanted to purchase more colors and have options. I just, out of all the niches that have come out, and I love the half wigs too, I just really, I think because I missed out on Nisha hype when it was like bbomb.com, she was out here killing it. Um, I think like I gravitate towards the style and I, I, I enjoy it, I think too. Um, I wasn't into really voluminous, long, lengthy wigs. I was beginning my wig journey and understanding wigs and understanding construct and understanding application and things of that nature. So that's probably why I didn't understand or <laughs> understand what y'all what Hope Trade was doing. I understand what they was doing. They was setting up the future for what we be getting now. Cause there ain't no Justine. If this didn't have success, like if I really narrow it down, I think this was the first like really textured, mimicking black women hair, blown out, pressed wig, synthetic wig. Like it was one of the first, I mean like to really imitate, you know what I'm saying? So the setup that this had for what was to come and what Outre does and gives us in different lines i just think like you know you gotta pay homage you know what i'm saying to og okay miss original nisha so um like i said she is available on most sites please check out part one of my review where i'm reviewing uh two additional colors as well as check out my other two videos which i'm reviewing the nisha's for the first time, like first ever purchased. And I did those reviews a couple years ago. I actually have like a Nisha collection playlist. So I'll try to make sure that playlist link is in the description box of this video. But y'all let, y'all tell me like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, is she still in? I think that she's still in. I think that this style obviously is, is really a common style now that's out. So definitely, I look forward to more. Um, like I said, they're coming out with a half wig for the Nisha. So um, definitely be on the lookout. That is either released or going to be released, but I know it's this month. So other than that, I want y'all to stay safe, take care of yourselves, and be blessed. Um, more to come. I'm definitely looking forward to some new things that Outre is releasing. So I cannot wait to get my hands on some new colors and a different style and different options as we move into these fall and winter months okay other than that bye yes nisha she's still doing it y'all she's still doing it get her